What you see here is the theme browser for the static content generator Hugo. Now I wanted to create something similar in uh, Tornado FX and specifically I was looking for a way to create this hover animation. As you can see whenever you hover one of the thumbnails the label at the bottom here uh, changes its background and the padding seems to uh, to expand a little using an animation. So first I created it in the Tornado FX without any animation. So you see whenever I hover now I, I just get the background color and that's uh, done using CSS but I don't get any animation and no change in padding. Turns out it wasn't all that easy in uh, in, uh, in JavaFX to do this. And uh, let's have a quick look at the code. So the thing you just saw was a data grid component. And uh, inside each cell of the data grid, uh, I have a stack pane, then the image, and then the label at the bottom. And uh, uh, first let's add just a little padding to, um, to this label. Normally in the, in the Java effects, you would add padding to an element like this. So you would create an insets object and you can choose uh, if you want to add padding to, uh, to all sides at once or a specific padding to each side. So we could say, for example, uh, that we wanted uh, uh, 10 for each side. Um, this can also be expressed in uh, in Tornado FX as padding all is 10. And you can give any number, it doesn't have to be a double. Uh, this is an extension on node, so padding all, and uh, of course uh, corresponding uh, uh, padding top, right, bottom and left is available on all nodes. Um, so we set some padding by default, and then we want to, to change this padding whenever we hover the stack pane. So when this stack pane is hovered, we want to change the, the padding of this label. So to access the, the stack pane from inside the label builder, we'll say parent and then on hover. And uh, we're past the hovering state. So we can now say that padding all is if we're hovering, sorry, if hovering, it's 20, else it's 10. So if we rerun now, we would have a change in padding whenever we hover, but no animation. So it works. So the question is, how do you animate padding? We have nice functions to animate uh, an observable value uh, in Tornado FX, but the problem with the padding property is that it's of type insets. And the insets object, let's have a quick look at it, contains four double values. Those are not observable, so we can't bind to any of those and, and animate any of those directly. So we created something we called a proxy property in Tornado FX, and we use that proxy property to add padding all property. So now we actually have uh, an observable writable value of type double that will, when written to, uh, create an insets object and, uh, and uh, set that insets object as the padding property of a node. So using the padding all property, we can now just say animate. And the first parameter to animate is the end value. So we want to animate to either 20 or 10, depending on whether we're hovering or not. And uh, the next parameter is the duration of the animation. So let's say 200 millis, for example. So let's rerun now. Now we have something that looks well, not exactly the same because what we actually want to do is not animate all the sides. We want to animate just the top and bottom. So what we could do is uh, access the padding top property and animate it and then access the bottom property and animate that. But we also added a padding vertical property. And of course there is a, a padding horizontal property as well. And what that will do is whenever you write to this property, uh, we will create a new insets object and uh, configure the top and bottom uh, value to whatever you give it. And it will keep the left and right value. Um, so let's rerun now.
now we have something that looks fairly similar to the HTML5 version. You saw how the proxy property we added on the node could make it quite easy to, to animate something that was hard to animate in JavaFX by default. You can also create your own proxy properties if you uh, need to. Uh, I can't really see that many use cases for it, but uh, at least for the, the padding properties on node, it's a huge help. Thanks for watching.